Pieces of a shattered mirror lie against the bare wooden floor, bearing fingerprints, moist with salty tears. The dark, cloudy arms of the shadows weave their way around a room cluttered with memories of a forgotten time. There is a shelf full of records, beautiful vinyl cases of melodies covered in dust, for those melodies have long since graced others' ears. You hear breathing, ragged, but you're the only one in that room. That eerily cheerful room with yellow walls that might as well be blue. Open the door, a voice says. Your hand wants to grab the handle, but at the same time, it resists. The breathing grows louder, healthier almost, for it no longer sounds like nails against a window, but blades against fabric. Listen closely, you tell yourself. But is that really you? Or is it just some phantom from the depths of your clouded, rambling little mind? Listen closely, you hear again, and as each second passes, it sinks in deeper. You are not just you. Like the spiderwebs that fill the forgotten record shelves, you are the crossing point of many wandering souls looking for a body. See me, hear me, notice me, is what they all cry. And of course you give in, for what else is there to do? Now they are seen, heard, noticed. Stare into the pieces of that shattered, gleaming mirror and see how you are a vessel and what's really there is not you, but me, a harmless, wandering soul.